Hello Aries, this is your Mercury Retrograde forecast for October 2014 and I'm doing it on a separate listing or a separate video than from your monthly forecast because here in October we got two eclipses. We got that total lunar eclipse and then we got the partial solar eclipse and I was focusing on bringing that information out on your monthly forecast so if you haven't heard or listened to it yet you want to do that too. So separately here we're going to be talking about Mercury and what Mercury retrograde is going to do for you and which area it's going to be affecting here in October. Mercury in the beginning of October until the 4th is moving forward in your 8th house for um, the money that you have and hold with your partner, any kind of shared resources. <clears throat> excuse me it's also in the sign of Scorpio so it's really deep it's also passionate it's intimate and the eighth house is also known as the house of intimacy so there might be shared a whole lot of deeper conversations that's what Mercury does it communicates so whatever that is until the fourth uh, then it's going to turn uh, retrograde and you will see that issues from the past or maybe situations that you started a conversation on earlier but wasn't finalized that may be coming back to the surface now and you will have a second chance of going back in there deepening it tweaking it refining it whatever now is needed to be shared in this area will definitely be showing its face until the 10th then it's going to move out of your eighth house into your partnership house and remain there till October 25th until it goes direct again. And that will also give you a second chance there to retweak anything within your relationship that needs to be communicated, um, give you time to, to revisit those situations that may be popping up. And then after the 25th, it will be moving direct. But then it's still halfway through. Uh, 16 degrees there in Libra and uh, will take its time as it picks up speed to move through that seventh house. So you're going to have a good long run here to actually work with your partner right now, both on your relationship area, but also in the shared income or shared resources area, or also those things that are very intimately shared which the eighth house represents so this is pretty much where you're going to see that things are going to arise you don't want to sign like we say since mercury rules communication documents and those kind of processes we really don't want to sign anything unless we absolutely have to until mercury is direct again just because it's looking out for your higher good so uh, like in your monthly forecasts even here in your retrograde forecast you would like to listen to your moon or rising sign here just to see where mercury is going to be affecting other areas of your chart all right aries so enjoy october best you can and i will see you in november take care now